Now, let's, since I'm talking about caulking, let's talk about, okay, after this is all ready and I get ready to caulk, which caulking am I gonna use? And you may say, hey, Joe, what difference does it make? Just go down and get some white caulking. Call it good. Well, no, not really. Okay, here's the Alex Painter's Acrylic Latex Caulk. It happens to be white, and I use that to caulk it and secure it to the baseboard, but there's no way I'm gonna use this um, and put on there, because this is designed to caulk, and this is designed to be painted over, okay? And I'm not painting this, remember? I just want a nice, clean, shiny, white bead of caulking that when it dries, it's still gonna look nice and shiny and white. That's why I cannot use this. I used to use this for all kinds of stuff, and it used to come in brilliant white, and I couldn't find that at the store for the last few times. All I could find is white. But it's silicone based. See, caulking plus silicone latex, uh, all purpose acrylic latex caulking uh, plus silicone, 40 year. And this is designed really to be painted over. And lots of times I would, I would used to, I used to caulk around windows. And if I wasn't going to paint the caulking, I, I used to use this. But I found that when this dries, it dries kind of flat. It doesn't dry nice and white and shiny. When you, put it, when you put it on, it looks nice and white and shiny, but when it dries, it's gonna take on a flatness and it's gonna take on a little bit of yellowness, not, not, not a whole lot of yellow, but just an off-white when it dries all the way. And I wasn't too happy with that. And so I'm not gonna use that. Okay, I'm just not going to do it. I'm going to end up using this. And there's all kinds of different uh, caulking like this. This is gloss white, quick seal ultra from DAP. And it's, it's exclusively used for kitchen, bath, and plumbing. And you use that around toilets, around bathtubs, around sinks and stuff, around wet areas. Well, this, doesn't, this isn't necessarily going to be around a wet area, but when this dries, I have a feeling it's going to stay nice and shiny, wet looking, and it's not going to get, it's not, it, it's not going to lose its brightness over time. It's going to stay nice and white and clean, even years down the road. And that's what I want. I want this stuff to look nice. This paint on the baseboard has, has uh, at least one coat. Of, it might even have two coats. No, it's got one coat of semi-gloss paint on there, white paint, and the, and the uh, quarter round looks like it's been painted, doesn't it? But, it? but it hasn't. It hasn't been. And it's a plastic coating. Oh, there's another little spot I need to clean. See right there? Look at that. I just went over that. I'm gonna have to do a better job, see? You wipe on it too much, I can still feel it all the way, all the way to about there. I gotta do a better job than that. Cause see, I don't want it to discolor like that later so I'm gonna have to spend a little bit of extra time on that but that white uh, quarter round is that plastic stuff and it's got a sheen to it it's got a nice sheen to it and all and it pretty much looks the same color as the baseboard that's why we decided not to paint it and so when I caulk I want the caulking to look basically the same as that because I'm putting a thin bead that white caulking is probably not gonna match 100% perfect with the quarter round or with the uh, baseboard. But because I'm gonna put a nice, clean, straight line on there and, and wipe it and, and do a really good job on that, when it dries, you're not even gonna know because it's gonna be down low, okay? So that's what I'm gonna do. Does it matter what type of caulking you might use for whatever project you're doing? Yes, that's why they have so many different kinds at the store. If you're if you got any questions talk to somebody in the paint department store tell them what you're doing see what they might recommend ask them any questions you might and base your decision maybe by that and get your job done I'm still working away at it but um, you know this will also give you a chance after you get everything clean then you want to check your outside corner see if you need to uh, do any more sl slight rasping, 
right here I feel there's a slight edge so I can kind of rasp that down with my rasp and right up right there a little bit and here's a little nail and I, I, I push this down because it was it was kind of bouncing up and the masking tape wasn't holding it down I pushed it down drilled a little hole and put that nail in and didn't tap the nail in all the way because sometimes at the bottom of your baseboard depending it might have a tendency to want to bounce around so I just was using that just as a hold to hold the base right there until it dried I can either at this point pull that out you know with a pair of pliers and back it off and back and forth boom 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 while I'm holding this so it doesn't want to pop this out I'll, I'll try that first and then uh, can see I'm afraid if I if I want to tap it in I could be chattering this so much that maybe it breaks the caulking loose in here I don't know just be careful of areas like that you know I only had to put a few nails in I actually had to put one right there too because the floor was kind of up a little bit and I kind of this was wasn't staying down so I pushed it down that one I was able to set with the nail with the nail set and I'll, I'll just I'll just put some caulking over that see but um, I only I only had to put a few nails in sporadically here and there maybe maybe eight or nine total and um, if you were watching me the the last episode I was still working in here I had to move all this stuff and yes I got this I got this all done the other day I got it all done in here and I left I left the piece out right there I wasn't quite sure what to do with that because see this is a trap door that goes underneath the house and he put trim around it and everything and that's a little finger pull which is kind of slick see you just reach your hand in there and and then pull up on that and then that goes down flush that's called a finger pull and I could have put I could have put a piece of, of uh, trim across there but then uh, to pull this up you have to kind of raise it up at an angle and slide it in and and um, I would have had to have raised it up higher than the bottom and almost about the same height as the bottom of the baseboard there so I thought what's the point right and so I left it there and remember if you were with me well, on one of the other videos I had said that um, I thought it was going to take about 18 pieces I ended up getting how many pieces did I get oh I got 20 21 21 and so I should have three pieces left and look how many pieces I got left I got two three four four pieces because one of these that piece there is a three-quarter inch that I wasn't going to use I was just bringing that to show you and to have Bomi decide what she wanted so I got four pieces and so I was I was pretty close I was I only needed 17 pieces and out of those 17 pieces here's my scrap here's my scrap look at that that's it and the only way I was able to do that was in this in this uh, last room I was trying to uh, figure uh, to do strip to do full pieces a full piece and then a full piece eight feet and then do some other little piddly things well this one ended up being short by about two inches so I put a little piece coming in this way and then I didn't have enough here other than two small scrap pieces and so I fit those in and there's there's my joint and it, it's gonna look fine nobody's ever gonna really see that joint anyways so so uh, now I'm able to take four pieces back instead of three and get my money back and on the caulking I only used you know to attach this on all those pieces 17 pieces see there this end is about right about there I used a good three quarters maybe seven eighths of one tube of caulking that's it to attach this um, quarter round all down so there's a there's a little uh, gauge for you I got I got like seven tubes of that caulking I got six left I'm gonna take them back to the store I'm never gonna use that stuff you know for for right now and you know if you if you 
if you keep some, if you keep too much around the house, you think, oh, I'll use it, I'll use it, uh, I don't know, six months from now, whatever. Lots of times this has a tendency to dry up in, in your caulking, even if you've never opened the tube, depending where you store it and that kind of stuff. So, you know, if I have, if I have some full containers, if I had this left and, and one extra container, I'd probably take the one extra container back to the store because I would never know when I was going to use it again. And then I would obviously save this, I would save this, and any, anything open. Anything unopened that I have no idea when I'm going to use it again, it's best just go ahead and take it back. Hey, next time you need to work on a project, chances are you're going to have to go back to the store anyways for something else. If you think you're going to need more caulking, get some more caulking then. That's, that's what I've been doing lately, and it seems to work out pretty good. Okay, back to work I go. I want to get this 